Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here, and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. Today, I have some breaking news. Activision finally decided to respond to the Black Ops Cold War exploits. The Call of Duty Updates Twitter account finally updated us on the status of Black Ops Cold War. As of June 22nd, 2023, they said, a security update has been released on all platforms. Additional updates are in progress. So, there you have it. Finally, Black Ops Cold War is safe to play again. And while we can celebrate this little victory, Activision still has to go back and fix all of the other games. Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare 3, the original Modern Warfare 2, Ghosts, and all the other previous games. Those games still have some serious exploits. And this includes the newer games like Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2. Although it doesn't seem like the hacking situation is super serious in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, the problem still exists. However, if I were you guys, I would still be cautious when it comes to playing Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone Zone 2. Because we've heard from one of the hackers, and I'm sure you guys have seen the video too, that the same exploit in Black Ops Cold War is in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. In addition, I'm a little bit worried that this is going to be a short-lived victory. Because earlier this year, Treyarch updated Black Ops 3 on PC to fix the exploits. And although they did patch up the RCE exploit in Black Ops 3, all the other issues came back within a couple of days. So, to be honest, I'm a little bit worried that the same thing could potentially happen to Black Ops Cold War. But I guess only time will tell. But anyways guys, I wanted to make this quick video to update you all that Black Ops Cold War is now finally safe to play again. We finally have a more modern alternative Call of Duty game to play instead of Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. And now we can play the game as intended without worrying about getting hacked. Which is still pretty pathetic that we have to worry about this as a community in the first place. And I can only hope from here on out that the Call of Duty Updates Twitter page continues to do its job. Continue to update the player base on the status of these games and let us know when these fixes are implemented. However, in the meantime, this also shows that this Twitter account is going to be somewhat active. So, I implore you all to continue to tweet at this particular Twitter account to get the older games fixed as well. This is a step in the right direction from Activision as it pertains to this hacking situation, but of course, more still needs to be done about the older games. But what do you think about Black Ops Cold War being fixed? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Anyways guys, that's it for this video and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world, and I'll see you guys next time.